Are you taking six hours to edit five minutes worth of footage? Does it feel like editing is starting to consume your life? Then you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can speed up your workflow to edit ten times faster. Let's do this. So the first thing I notice a lot of people do that is slowing them down from editing faster is every time they do a new edit, they play it back from the beginning to see how it looks all together. Now I used to do this a lot and it slowed me down so, so much. It's a hard habit to get out of, but believe me, once you do it, you won't regret it. Now something pretty obvious you should do is invest in a better computer or Mac. Preferably Mac. It's much faster and easier to work on than a PC. If there's something that's going to make you edit 10 times slower than you could be, then it's definitely using a crappy computer. Now the next thing is something you want to learn now, because this is going to become the future. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about AI. AI is definitely going to become the future of editing, so you want to learn this and learn it fast. One of the tools that saved me a lot of time was the Scene Edit Detection tool. This basically analyzes all of your footage and cuts out all the parts where you're not talking. Obviously it won't be as perfect, you might want to do some comedic cuts and not want it to cut after every single time you talk, but still, this is very good for getting rough edits together. The next item that made me edit 10 times faster is one of these. This is a Logitech MX Master 3. This is an absolute game changer as it has lots of buttons that you can bind to do certain things without having to do it manually, which just takes ages. Honestly, this mouse is just amazing for productivity and I really recommend you invest in one if you want to edit faster. You should put a couple of hours into just creating video files for certain things like ending screens, animations, lower thirds, fonts, sound effects, effects, stock footage. This will save you looking for it every single time which takes absolutely ages. And every time you find maybe a new effect or sound effect, you can just add it to your collection then drag and drop it onto your timeline anytime you need it. Now the next thing is absolutely essential to editing faster. I'm talking about keyboard shortcuts. You absolutely have to learn as many keyboard shortcuts as possible so you don't have to keep manually pressing all the tools or shortcuts. It may take some time to get used to all of them, but it's 100% worth it as editing can be a really time consuming task. If you don't like how the original keyboard shortcuts are, then simply rebind them by going to Premiere Pro, Keyboard Shortcuts, and from there, just bind them to whatever you want. Tip 6. A quick tip to editing just that tiny bit quicker is to alt drag. If you don't know what I mean, then let me explain. Say you want to reuse some footage or sound effects or anything really, simply select whatever you want, hold alt and drag it to where you want to use it again. I can't stress how helpful this is, I use it all the time for sound effects and sometimes footage that I want to reuse. Please use this to your advantage as it saves so much time re-editing it. Tip 7. This tip is similar to the alt and drag thing as in it saves you time re-editing it. I'm talking about presets. If you've created an effect or transition and you don't want to edit it again, I don't think anyone does, then simply right click on your effect and select save preset. From there, just name it to whatever you want and click save. It will then go to your presets panel, so just drag and drop it onto an adjustment layer whenever you want to use it. You can also do this for colour grading too, which is very helpful, as colour grading is very time consuming. Tip 8. Organise your workflow. You may or may not know this, but you can edit your workflow to your liking. Simply click Window and Workspaces. You can either choose from one of these built-in workspaces, or you can create your own by clicking Edit Workspaces. That was a lot of workspaces. Now for the last tip. If there's one thing I have to say last, then it'd be just to try and enjoy the editing process. We all know how frustrating it can be and how long it can take, especially when you're 40 hours in and Premiere Pro decides it doesn't like you and then crashes. So just try to relax and enjoy it. If you're all frustrated and worked up because you can't do something, that's only going to slow you down. If you can't do something and you're annoyed about it, just stop, breathe and learn. I hope you learned something from this and I'll see you in the next one.